Veolia Water Milwaukee, contracted by the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District, cleans billions of gallons of wastewater every year, safeguarding natural resources and protecting public health for 28 communities and over one million people in southeastern Wisconsin. On the banks of Lake Michigan, two plants, Jones Island and South Shore, work together to serve the district, which covers 411 square miles. The plants can treat 150 million gallons per day on dry days, and during a rain event, the plants can treat up to 600 million gallons of wastewater per day. But every inch of rain that falls on the service area can generate 7.1 billion gallons of water. So, if there's an intense rain event and more water gets into the sewers than the two plants can handle, the excess water will cause basement backups or sewer overflows, if not stored somewhere. Enter the deep tunnel. It has the capacity to store up to 521 million gallons using 29 miles of underground tunnels buried 300 feet deep until it's able to be treated later on using three 5,500 horsepower pumps. Since 1994, the district, with the help of Veolia beginning in 2008, has captured and cleaned more than 1.6 trillion gallons of water and wastewater. That's the equivalent of filling 32 billion bathtubs. Here's how we do it. Water flows to the two plants through the conveyance system, a system of combined and separated sewers and private laterals. Water is brought up from underground using Archimedes screws and is screened to remove trash, such as plastic bags, bottles, and flushable wipes, using tightly spaced bars. Centrifugal force is used to settle out grit and sand that can potentially damage mechanical components used during the treatment process. The water is then sent to large clarifiers to settle. An arm that takes an hour to rotate once skims off fats, oils and grease that float to the top. And any solids that sink to the bottom are scraped off and pumped 12 miles to anaerobic digester tanks at South Shore, where the gas is captured and used to help power the plants. Following this, the partially treated water begins biological treatment. Microscopic organisms that naturally occur in the wastewater break down the organic material. Air is pumped into the aeration tanks to encourage the bugs to reproduce and consume the organic material. The newer bugs go back to the aeration tank to live out the rest of their life cycle. And the older bugs die and settle to the bottom. The sludge is pumped to the dewatering and drying facility where the water is squeezed out and the product is heated in dryers that can reach temperatures of 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. The final product is called millorganite and is used to fertilize lawns, gardens and golf courses throughout North America. But what about the treated water? The final stage is to use chlorine to kill any pathogens that may remain. Then, the water is neutralized and can be safely released back into the lake. And come rain or shine, we'll continue to capture and clean Milwaukee's wastewater and help protect Lake Michigan. www.veolianorthamerica.com slash Milwaukee Veolia. Resourcing the world.